Hey guys, this is Shredder James. I'm here bringing you guys kind of a uh, little, little bit of precap, or a little bit like a uh, little bit before video. All, I, all I'm doing this video is asking you guys. Um, I did this kind of um, Minecraft thing with this other YouTuber, and I wanted to ask you guys um, to please go watch the video and to um, you know do your usual cool thing, which is comment, rating, and subscribing. So. You know, please go do that, and you know, check out his channel in the free time too if you can. Um, that'd be really nice. So, yeah, that's all. I'm here to go. So, let's actually roll the clip. Wait, I didn't do that right. Let's roll the clip. There you go. Canada, oh Canada, oh Canada, we beat the Chinese like they were pity bats. Yeah, God save the king, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria to Heart of Darkness. This is our Canadian Let's Play, as I just said. As you know, guys, last episode we had a major development, which was we took, um, kind of, kind of skippishly, I was kind of really scared of my own powers but we kind of skippishly took a little bit of China like this is our little carving of China right now it's not much I admit it but it's a stepping stone because now with this little base in China what we realize is one we can beat China it's really not that hard okay I'm gonna instantly start making forts on here because that's what we're gonna need if we're gonna need to defend this place so, what we realize is that we can basically just beat China up without even laying a finger on them. So, that's awesome. Um, what else we realized is that we probably should have added a humiliation trait so that China would not be able to build up for a little bit. And, um, I apparently haven't looked at the world in a very long time and the Papel States has changed their flag drastically. Um, they are a presidential dictatorship. I don't even think they're a theocracy anymore. Wow, what happened? Huh. Something major must have happened in Europe, and I wasn't really paying attention because I was too concentrating on my awesome campaign. So, you know, right now we're going to be sitting pretty at the end of the world because we have lots of laborers. We have 7.65 immig immigration, which means we are about the same as the United States, I think. No, the United States still beats us in power. That seems. But we still would like to think that we were better than the United States. So, that's what counts. And... Um, right now what we should be doing is um, basically basically what I'm gonna try to do is increase our army size so that we have well I probably should just recruit from over here so basically off screen what I'm gonna do is recruit a gigantic army over here and you know make the army so see you guys in a little bit okay I'm back that was much quicker than I thought because it was actually really tight territory so now we'll be making an army and we'll be making new forts that's probably gonna decrease our a level of intrigue for a little bit but then we'll bounce back up because we're Canada we have the best economy in the world and no one else can match us okay conservatives whatever ammunition that's good stockpile fish everyone we always want to stockpile fish and oh man I, I, I the words in my mouth cannot describe just how much I'm happy that we have started our own Canadian Let's Play. I mean, we stood up against China, which, you know, granted, it really wasn't, like, that hard. But, I mean, they had 500 soldiers. Comparatively, we only had about maybe 30 soldiers, and we just beat them. Like, flat out beat them. That's just... And we gained Brazil in our sphere. That makes this day even worth it. I mean, this is, I mean, this is turning into, like, a great day in terms of almost everything. We have t conquered a little bit of China. I mean, it's going to take us a long time. In fact, we could just probably just zoom past all this, because we don't really need to do anything. And, yeah, Balboa is now one of our cores. Brazil, you want an alliance with me? Well, let me see. How's your army look? You have a terrible, terrible kind of composition of army. Mexico is a better alliance. Mexico, are we friends again? Yes, we are friends. That's good. Don't ever betray me again, Mexico. I will rip you and gut you like a harpoon. Okay? Okay. Uh, they still hate us, but they hate us less. So I'm going to see if I can kind of buddy-buddy with Ch Japan. And maybe next time they might be able to help us. Because they're really the 
I know I'm not they're not entirely the best alliance I can get, but this is still a good alliance. And let me see how my railroad connection is doing. Holy shoot, this is really bad. Okay. And what I'm gonna do here is increase an entire line of um forts. Cause what I wanna do is make sure that this region is now protected, because we now just, you know, spent a lot of money on protecting and I wanna make sure that's protected. So let's go back over here. Increase our no we don't uh, our capitalists are doing a pretty good job of like getting our railroads actually so you know what I, I honestly knocked on the on the railroad part but I bet they're doing pretty good and expand the dick Roy factory sure why don't we do that I'll support the money I'll give you guys as much as you need and you guys just keep on making my railroads because I severely just don't have the funds or the willpower to make railroads it is not within me and whoa we just have a major like a major like immigration increase which is good and we can now do just basically the same amount of stuff, which is not good because I don't really care about that stuff. And we can honestly decrease our our taxes to 45% because we really don't need that many. Which is actually severely helping all of our classes gain much more into the uh, more wealthier side. I mean, look at our a lot of clergymen, artisans, and a lot of other people starting to like, gain inside this much more better class. And we still have enough to support ourselves, which is good. Oh man, this is this is looking up, guys. Like, we're, Canada is just looking straight up. I mean, with can uh, I said Canada, that didn't I? Oh shoot. Okay, so war between Italy and Austria, kind of shifting the gears for me. Um, don't want an alliance with Colombia. Uh, yeah. I kind of expected that. I mean, Italy is kind of divided right now. They don't really have the full army. I bet some of the army is like low take, located in the two Sicilies. Yeah, they probably should have gotten their alliance with North Germanic Federation. That's probably what should have helped them. Um, the beliefs must be respected, I guess. Because that's always what we choose, okay? Let's start getting a little bit more buddy-buddy with Japan. Come on, buddy-buddy. Let's hope these guys will actually like us by the end of this. Because we really do. We can have them as a good alliance. This will be awesome and like I said by the end of this um because what I'm basically thinking guys is by 1886 the Chinese are going to be very close to westernizing and what we're going to need to do is we're basically going to need to take all the territory from the Chinese at that point so we're going to take everything we can from the Chinese everything possible that we can take we're going to take from Chinese that is my next phase plan so the war of 1886 I'm hopefully hoping they will not industrialize by that point I am praying to God they do not industrialize at that point, because we will not... Well, honestly, we could take them on. I mean, it's not going to be a problem of that. It's just a problem of, do I really want to deal with this if this was to come to pass? Okay. And this is the kind of army. I raised a kind of 15 strong army. You know, kind of tiny if you comparatively expect it to my other armies, but... It's still good enough to the point that the Chinese will still not be able to fight us. And next time when we go to war, we're going to take as much as we can. I mean, I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Now that I know that we have the power to attack China, we're going to be so good. In this actual war, should... Okay, I didn't even look at that. Should Americans something something? I did not look at that. That was sad. I'm so sorry. Um, let's see. How's our party loyalty doing? Most... Uh, we have some communists starting to show up again. Mostly liberalist are good. That's good. Uh, migration wise, how are we doing? 17,000. We're starting to go up much more against the United States. That's good. That means much, pe much more people are thinking we're worth the time in terms of Canada's immigration system. Army construction, long live Canada. Okay. Military logistics. Alright. Um, let's see. Our national focuses right now are craftsmen. I don't really think we need crafts anymore. I don't think that's a problem. I think we actually need some capitalists. So I don't think we have enough capitalists in our country to like... Yeah, we only have about 4,000. We should have at least 10,000 capitalists right now so we can start like mass producing a lot of these factories. Cause, I mean, look at this. We have lots of unemployment. In fact, a lot of unemployment. So um, what I'm going to start doing is encouraging a massive amount of capitalism because we need capitalists in our country. Pronto. If you know what I mean. And let's see, how's our population doing densely wise? In our own country, uh, now since we have Korea and China included, it's now never going to show like my population that big. So, but who is the biggest country in natural Canada? Or biggest city in natural Canada? Is it Toronto? Oh, Montreal's so close to beating Toronto. That is like, ah, uh, 
So close. Okay. Uh, Ma uh, Mexico, you want the alliance again? Well, I'm sorry. You kind of made me angry. <laughs> like, I know I was going to forgive you, but no. No, just no. And how are you guys doing? Okay, you might... This might be a really close one, but I'm not sure. We might not be able to get Japan into our sphere until, like, later, until our infamy goes down. Because eventually, I think we'll be able to get him in our sphere. It's just going to take us a little bit, so let's just increase that. And we have a new spearing option, Peru! Onwards to Peru! Peru, where's Peru? There's Peru. And at the sphere, yes! Okay, so we got Peru now in our sphere. So that means we got most of... South oh great you guys have rebels oh shoot you guys have a lot of rebels I'm not gonna keep Peru for a very long time unless I wanted to go send my army in to go help him out but that requires work and I don't really want to work okay so yeah I know I know I saw them don't worry don't don't worry game I saw those massive amount of rebels and I honestly will not go help them they they should honestly learn how to go defend themselves so I'm gonna move this army over here to defend itself Defend itself, as I quoted, and you know it would. To be honest, you probably would be smarter to go right here, but hmm. And it would be honestly better if I moved one of these armies over to here because honestly, these two armies is all it takes to defend this upper region, and they're probably gonna do much more attacks. So I'm gonna send my my only fleet. You know what? Let's stop using this fleet over here and let's go make an actual fleet. So let's see. Do we have any good ports? No, we do not have any good ports. That's good. That's a good start, James. Okay, let's actually, uh, over here, let's actually make our first port. That way we actually can start making our own. Oops, that kind of got army in negatives. Or production in negatives. And no, now we're good again. Um, but yeah, it probably would be just quicker if I go grab my only fleet I have. And yeah, let's just go grab our only fleet I have. Let's just go right here. Oh, upper house arrangements. It's laggy. Okay. There it goes. And we're going to move these guys all the way over here. Ah, oh, dang it. It, it de, de spawned my region. There we go. Okay, and we got more Colombian alliances. Let's just go right here. And we're going to use, we're going to pick up one of these armies to go over here so that it'll help defend this army. Because it looks like, looks like the Chinese are definitely eyeing this. They're so like, I am so ready for when I have to go to war with you guys again. I am so getting ready for that. And I have to make sure... That I do not do anything in this amount of time. And, hmm. Oh, another eternal crisis. Dang. No. Not Poland crisis. Please. For the love of Benji. No. No one support this. Please. Everyone just say, we don't really care about Poland. And I'll be I'll be happy with that. I, I will not argue with if we all say we do not want to deal with Poland right now. Uh... So, I have to be a spectator now. So basically just force my hand. So basically in this, we're just going to choose the winning side. And if it's a tie, well... <laughs> then we'll choose the side that's closely not the British. So we don't want to go to war against the British. And there's apparently a guns okay law that we enacted, which is not Vince. Long live Canada. We're starting to, Canada's cores are starting to really expand, which is really good. In fact, we've already got a lot of cores inside. Yeah, we have some cores inside Alaska, which is good. Because most of... Wow. We have severely placed the native population in this region. It's like, mostly... Mostly us. Just mostly us. And let's see how immigration's doing again. Still doing good amount of immigration, and they white peace. Good job. Good job. That is a good idea, because I did not want to fight that at all. And, oh, I did not notice this, but Spain took a little bit of Persia. Ah, I've never seen that before. I've never seen that kind of colonial expansion. Like, usually Persia is able to, like, ex you know, civilize before anything happens to it, but apparently this time it got a little bit of stuff taken away, and the UK completed the Suez Canal. I thought that was going to happen, since I wasn't actually working on it. Um, what do we need to work on? But we kind of need to work on all technology that's kind of in this tier. Holy shit, we are behind in terms of steamers. Well, we really don't... Honestly, we're not fighting any great powers anytime soon, so we don't really need to worry about steamers. Um, combustion engine, no, that would actually hurt our economy. We definitely... Let's do dig out system. Trench system, that way, when we're fighting against the Chinese again, which will happen, 
Don't get me wrong, people. This will this war will happen again. We will have a great. This this is gonna be a great war right here. Like if as long as they just don't industrialize, that's the only thing I'm worried about. Is if they industrialize right now or any time between these two years, we are basically messed over because we cannot deal with an industrialized China. That's when this becomes way too hard. And demand concession against the Santo Caliphate. Don't really care if I must be honest with you. And oh yeah, we have 45% taxes on almost everyone. That is awesome. It's starting to go down a little bit. That's the only thing that stinks. But until they start going to negatives, I'm not really gonna worry about it. And we're still supporting a lot of, um, what is it called? Okay. Hey, that's unconstitutional. Uh, yeah, that's unconstitutional. Go right here. Yeah, I don't, it could be unconstitutional because I really don't know a constitution, honestly. I don't know the Canadian constitution that well. So, it could be unconstitutional. I don't know. Uh, probably is, probably is probably is not unconstitutional, but I just said it was, just for the sake of, uh, annoying them. <laughs> okay, and we still got a fact, still got a lot of railroads being invented. I mean, how is our infrastructure doing now? Now that, now that they've kind of been focusing, seems like we're starting to get more and more infrastructure. I mean, we, oh, yes, the first transcontinental, uh, railroad finished. Oh, uh, wait, no, it didn't. What? No. Oh, come on. Okay, so apparently I missed one little part, and our transcontinental railroad has not been finished. That stinks. We had just this one little territory right here that we did not finish, and now it's not. Now this has not been transcontinental railroad, so we probably won't finish this transcontinental railroad for a very long time. And oh, I'm so waiting for you, China. I am so like my infamy is going down like crazy, and I honestly can't fight against anyone else. So it's kind of like yeah, this is this is a good. This is a kind of good waster. Uh, I can't really fight against anyone else. I could probably take some territory from Siam, but I'm not really eyeing Siam. This I'm eyeing China. Once I, I mean, logically, I could take about five territories. One, two, three. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. This could be. This could be quite risky quite quite risky no not risk I mean this could be quite long and now we're starting to be able to build more territory and oh I forgot to get my army so let's get you guys in the boats you guys go right over here and just sit there because you guys don't really need to do anything except just protect the land once we go to war against China okay so all you guys need to do is protect the land once we go to war against China and we actually need just need one more army down there and we basically have a good set so where can we build an army? That is a good question. Where can we build an army? Okay. Uh, Heju. Okay, that's the only place we can build an army. So, Heju will be our one soldier province. They'll be fighting for our sovereignty. And apparently I'm having some little problems. So, I'm going to increase our taxes. Taxes. Okay, now we got 100 plus... In terms of strongness, yeah, there we go. 50% taxes, that's not too bad. That's not, like, terrible. It's not, like, the best, though, but it's not, like, too bad. I mean, that should stabilize the, the fine laissez-faire. <sighs> no one loves laissez-faire. Yeah, I'm almost agreeing with you guys. This is... I, I, this the Liberal Party has... Oh, they're now interventions. Oh, yeah, that's why. I was arguing interventionism. Because we're actually not laissez-faire, and... There's a lot of les Tom. There's a lot of les, Not les Toms, but... News of the world, uh, interventionism, I guess. Because no one really likes laissez-faire. Yay. Okay, Luxembourg. This. Okay, dig system. We just got that. So now, now the Chinese are basically messed over. We just have to make sure they do not industrialize. That's basically where we at. Okay, yeah, get the army conscription. And yeah, then, then we should be good for a very long time. Because they won't have any army good enough to fight against us at that point none of their puppets are strong enough to fight against us as we have demonstrated in our Canadian mightiness we are better than they are I'm, I'm really talking about Canadian mightiness and I'm, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna be shocked if the next war we just get like totally massacred because they they industrialize or westernize right before I do this and China is apparently like sphering one of the nations that's cool I don't really care about them so you guys can go ahead um, 
we are still good enough in our industrial score and everything to stay away from big gigantic nations and we're starting to gain a good industrial score which is good because Canada needs to industrialize because we have really really terrible industrialization efforts that's mostly because our capitalists are kinda terrible like we have only 9,000 capitalists which we're trying to increase as much as possible because we need a lot more capitalists in our country so that we can start a better route and hmm Okay, so what's gonna happen, guys? I think is what? Sus week? Oh no, wait, they're still in the game. I, I can't believe they're still in the game. No, wait, wait. Just, just give it a second. Just, just give it a second. They might not be in the game in a second. Yep, yep. I was about to say these guys. I'm still surprised they're in the game, but they apparently might not be in the game anymore. So, um, basically, what will happen, guys, is I will. End the episode on 1884, and then I'm just going to skip probably until 1886 because basically nothing's happening during this year. And I, I don't know. I don't... Sometimes sometimes I like making you guys watch through these boring parts. I want to torture you all! But, you know, sometimes it gets even... It gets a little bit too boring, so... Um... Let me just wait. Upper house! Yay! Got some more African things going on. The Ottoman Africa. Yeah, now Africa is completely divided up. I'm, I'm surprised Span, Span, Spanish got a little bit more into Africa than I, than I ever thought they would Spanish. The Spain. That's what they're called. No, they're called Spanish and plural and then Spain if you're just talking about the nation. Okay. Alright. Yep. That's a good time to happen. Goodbye.